Hi, my name is Christopher Tate. I'm a Red Hat Principal Software Engineer on the Red Hat Research Team, working with the Red Hat Collaboratory with Boston University on two projects, Smart Village and Ecological Forecasting. Let me demo, demo both of those right now. So let's get started. Smart Beer is our partner on the Smart Village project, together with me from Red Hat and our professor and student from Boston University. We have Christos Cassandras, our amazing professor, and Yingqing Chen, our student, grad student, working on Python algorithms for smart traffic lights, and Jan Malmgren from the village of Vebrod, and the founder of Smart a uh, organization putting all kinds of cool smart device IoT technology into their village to make their village a happier place, and myself. So we provide digitalization services. We have open APIs for smart cities, like our IoT node data and Crowdflow Observe for watching, counting people on sidewalks or parking access or smart traffic lights, traffic flow observed for observing vehicles in lanes and counting the number of vehicles. So that's an idea of our APIs. We gather real world data from IoT nodes in the village of Ibrod. Here are our IoT nodes and their data. And we interact with open source projects for simulating traffic, like the Sumo, the open source Sumo traffic simulator. This is our Python microservice that interfaces with that. And we help university students study smart indicators. So let me show you what I mean. Here we show the lanes of traffic that we're monitoring here and sidewalks where we watch for pedestrians. We have a sidewalk here and a sidewalk here and a sidewalk here, but this one is missing because I wanted to import it right now as a part of this live demo. So let me open a new terminal and we are going to open up a debug pod to NERC and our project in NERC. Okay, here we have a debug pod. Now we will add a Crowdflow observed object to this and run some Ansible automation. So let me pull up what this looks like. Here is our Crowdflow observed with its attributes. This acts like a smart device and then we just run our smart village operator it's an Ansible operator, so we can run the Ansible directly in a pod in our namespace. And it's going to set it up as a new device in an IoT agent, and then send the data to a context broker where the data is stored. And then that's acting like the edge. It also sends it to the cloud to NERC. So let's check our site now and see what we have if we refresh. Now let me go to uh, Crowdflow Observed. And now you can see we have four intersections here. So that's an example of how we do smart device data. Continuing on. We run research projects in the cloud and every Every website, every research project deserves the best in security and high availability and scalability and updates, which are provided by the NERC OpenShift platform. You can run any container and the container images can stay secure with updates and they're very scalable. So you can scale up the number of pods. So. We also have a ton of storage because we store things in databases, Postgres databases and search engines and cluster managers and, and all kinds of things. So here is our event-driven traffic simulation report. Now let me just refresh our traffic simulation since we 
imported a new road here, refresh. Now we have that, all four parts of the intersection. We'll go, now a traffic simulation, you can create multiple simulation reports off of a traffic simulation. So now this is updated with all four crowd flow observed models and traffic flow observed models. Now we can run the report. So we have input parameters that we can put in to change the results. So let's run this report. It's running. What it's doing is it's doing event driven message. It sent an event driven message to another microservice that performs the calculations. The the yeah the the artificial intel the machine learning of all of this, and then it sends back messages as it's doing its calculations to send us updates about the performance of our algorithm, how we've configured it and how long people and vehicles are waiting in line at a traffic light. It does several iterations to improve the performance of our graph. And as messages come back to the Smart Village platform, we send WebSocket updates directly to our web application so that we can report on the progress. There's no polling going on. It's all event-driven updates from one microservice to another and back again and to the browser through WebSockets. So there you go. Our, our report is completed. You can imagine this as um, traffic performance over time. So as traffic comes in, you continue to iterate on the, the traffic parameters and improve the traffic performance over time, as you can see here. So it's pretty cool. Take a look at our, we already took a look at our architecture. So we connect to several services and we have several open source communities from GitHub to Quay.io for our containers, GitHub for our source code, Maven Central for our Java uh, library artifacts, and a mailing list for updates, and YouTube for videos. And we use the FIWARE standards for all of this. All of this is best practices for developing hybrid cloud applications at the edge and the cloud.